We've had so many firsts in this van, but this is the first time we woke up to more than a foot of snow. I love the contrast of the clear blue sky against the white powdery ground. Everything here is so incredibly still. I can hear nature so clearly. I'm thankful for this place, to have land where we can finally begin to grow roots, create memories, and build something we can call our own. Good morning. Good morning. We're having some yerba mate and hibiscus tea. Mm -hmm. It's freaking delicious. I got it at Sprouts. Oh my gosh. Oh no, oh crap, crap, crap. What are you doing? He tries to get himself off the bed now. <laughs> good morning. Eh. Is the baby? Stop. Say good morning. Eh. Yeah, that's kind of good morning. I don't know. 44 degrees in the van this morning. What are we working on today? Today, we are getting the van ready because guess what? We have four more days here. We're hitting the road again. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Yeah. What do you mean we're not? We're Next not? week. Yeah. I mean, we're hitting the road like soon. Hitting the road. <coughs> um, so today is going to be a little bit of a prep day, getting the van ready. Also working on the studio as much as we can. Mm -hmm. I hate leaving town when there's like projects that haven't been completed. So at least finish up the wall, because that's what the original idea was, is to come in and finish that first wall. Yeah. Um, and then if we can get further than that, then heck yeah. You want it down, buddy? We'll be trying, so. Okay. Here's to a big day. <laughs> is like the hardest thing of it. I have learned a little trick. Is I start out with this spacing here, and then if I'm too tall, get a board, get your hammer, and you start here, and you just choop, 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 and it just, you can barely just inch it not even inch it, like smidge it down um, where you need it to go. And it's helped a lot. Just like that. to be super cold tonight and so with our heat still an issue we have found a campground just down the street from our property and we're gonna plug in tonight and use our space heater it's gonna be wonderful what do you think about it buddy So I'd say 
that's about a foot of snow. <gasps> There's at least 14 inches of snow on the front side of our tires. Uh, so, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get out or not, but we're certainly gonna try. Whew, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Gloves, flashlight. We've got a bus right there, that's all so good. Look at that guy. We have plants in the windows, so they're all automatically probably cool people. Oh, the snow, <laughs> holy crap. Look at it on the tree. Imagine branches. being in a tree house right in this area. Right, right there. I'm just sitting up there it's so amongst magical. all the it's snow. It's like a trees. snow globe. Mm, I love it. Fifteen plus inches. <laughs> we need a plow. There's no way we're getting back there. So I'm taking Mars to a surprise. I'm taking him to a float tank session. Um, I have a lot of friends who have done them that have loved them. I also have some that have not really liked them very much. They said that it caused them anxiety. So I figured I've never done one, but I will let Mars try it out. And so I, I've been telling him this week that I have a surprise for him and he has no idea what it is and it's starting to cause him a little bit of stress, but it's like 30 minutes until his appointment time. So we're in downtown, um, grabbing something to eat before he goes to his float tank session. And so I'm gonna make him bring a GoPro with him so that he can kind of show you 
hopefully in a decent way, um, the float tank and kind of uh, recap his experience with you guys afterward. I'm excited about it, but I'm also really nervous. I'm starting to feel stressed out a little bit because Ashley told me to get a GoPro and that I'm going to have a surprise. And I like surprises up until 25 minutes before them. <laughs> You said that I wouldn't be able to guess it, so that makes me nervous. That makes me really nervous. I have my, I have my phone, I have my wallet, cool. I have a GoPro, okay, okay. So and I know nothing. I, you're gonna go to a float therapy session. Oh right my the god. Holy crap. Yeah, I see it. Okay. I mean, I think it's a really interesting thing to surprise me on but I'll go do it hmm. so unfortunately don't think he was too excited about his surprise he's told me for a long time he's always wanted to try a float tank and so I thought it'd be fun to surprise him with that and I think he wanted to mentally prepare and so I feel kind of bad but I hope that he has a good time and I hope it's great. He was like, my ears are gonna be underwater for an hour. And I'm like, well, I'm glad I didn't get him like the 75 minute session. I just got him like a 60 minute one. I hope he likes it and I hope it doesn't just like totally mess up his mood for our drive to Oklahoma. We're heading to Oklahoma today. Um, we postponed Christmas with his family because of COVID. And so now it's end of January. And we're going to be celebrating Christmas, but I thought this would be a nice little relaxing thing to do before he hey. leaves. So, I mean, that was a surprise fail, <laughs> but it's okay. I'll try to surprise him again in the future with something and like maybe make it like a whiskey tasting or, you know, something more light and fun rather than something that could be a spiritual experience. <laughs> Oh well, okay. Better luck next time. So you're gonna shower, you're gonna float for an hour, and then you're gonna shower again. Okay. And the hatch is just that, it's a hatch, it's on the hydraulics. There's no lock here, so don't worry, you're not gonna get locked in. On the right is the panic button, and we usually ignore it unless you keep hitting it and you're screaming. There's a fresh spray bottle, and there's also a stone underneath there that's called Shungai. It absorbs negative energies, just leave it alone. The okay. first 10 minutes is music, okay. and then it goes silent, and then the last five minutes is music before the filter comes on. A moment of truth, guys. <laughs> Do you like it? was it? pretty cool. It was? It was pretty cool. It was nice. It is good to be in a good headspace before going into something like that. Um, but man, I was really able to get there pretty quickly. And had nothing but a smile on my face pretty much the whole time. Okay. It was nice. <laughs> Feeling pretty zen right now, so. Oh, sweet. Yeah, let's boogie. Good. All right. Okay, I feel a little bit better about it now. <laughs> We're packed up. We have one more thing to get. I'm gonna grab the paddleboard, I'm gonna throw it in the back, and then we are, honestly, we are hitting the road. Yep, so we are, like I said earlier, we are heading to Oklahoma for a very belated Christmas with our family. Um, due to COVID, we all wanted to quarantine for a little bit before coming together. So, we're gonna go enjoy a nice family Christmas. We are getting everything packed up here on the property and then after Oklahoma, instead of coming straight back to Colorado, I think we're going to head to Arizona where it's a little bit sunnier and warmer and, um, and that way we don't have to be up here freezing in the van and the snow, even though it's been beautiful. Um, a little bit warmer temperatures sounds pretty nice. So, see you guys next week. Bye.